You may ask the question, man, there is no light here. Well, that's true, but that's the secret. What I'm going to accomplish here without the sun, I want to use the maximum exposure time, maybe even up to 30 seconds, on a very, very, very slow shutter speed. Probably four or five seconds of exposure time. And then, of course, putting down the aperture, the f-stop, down to 22 or beyond if possible. But I like the cascades of the waterfall as you're coming down here with a lot of water in these mountains. Wonderful situation. Sometimes I think if the weather conditions are not perfect, why should I go out taking landscape photography? But you know, these special times, they are a challenge, but delivering wonderful shots at the end. This is seriously a wonderful shot. What I'm gonna do here is taking long exposure times. I use the longest leg of my tripod. It's almost 2.3 meters to reach out to the other side of that rock. I'm still working on it, but already what I see through my viewfinder is absolutely spectacular. You'll be impressed about that shot. Okay, once you have set your camera, I wanna get that milky stream. The secret is not to touch your camera any, anymore. So I'm using a self timer of about two to five seconds. We'll press the button, go back of the camera. The camera will expose the shot. Nothing is gonna shake the camera. It will be perfectly exposed and no blurness. I'm on 5,700K. I'm down on 0 0.8 seconds. I'm shooting on 100 ISO and I'm underexposing the shot by more than an f-stop. I'm running a two second pre-shot, pre meaning a self-exposure. All I have to do is press the button and just wait what's happening. It just makes a fantastic picture. Stable everywhere, but that's that milky stream coming down here. Wow, that is really awesome. I'm down at that river, laying on the rocks. I just noticed that some of the leaves that have come down the river, I mean, we're in fall. And of course, leaves are falling into that river also. And it's right here, blocking the little waterfall as it goes down smoothly. And I thought that's gonna make a beautiful shot. And that's, that's where I just went down here to take a shot with that macro lens. It turned out to be a wonderful situation. The light is just perfect without any contrast. So there's many situations really where you just observe nature and look out for little tiny things, maybe even that situation, and try to open your eyes once you're out there and explore what's there and try to be creative, try to use your talents, and you will find and discover things that are beyond your imagination. My first photo really turned out to, what would it be for a young man to take a photograph? but it was enough motivation to increase the quality of that shot. So I said, if there is a way to increase quality in photography, I must learn how to do that. And I was so happy about having the possibility of studying photography and getting closer to what's possible out there. But using my camera, I was communicating how is the world out there. Astonishing, because sometimes if you live in a small country, you don't have any idea of the beauty out there on planet Earth. Someone once said to me, if you take all these beautiful photographs, if you can make someone believing that there is a creation out there, the person may start believing that there is a creator. And when I thought about it, I said, wow, wonderful. I really want to take pictures to the glory of God. 